This question given in gate 2015 session 3 EC paper. Question is which one of the following 8085 microprocessor programs correctly calculate the product of two 8 bit numbers stored in registers B and C? The information related to 8085 microprocessor programming can be found in this following NPTEL course by Professor Santanu Chattopajaya, Department of Electronics and Electrical Communication Engineering, IIT. Here we need to find out which of the option or which of the program evaluates product of B and C. Let us find out which option is correct. So, here in option A, the first instruction move immediate A00H that means content of the equilinator will be 00H. So, this move instruction will not affect any flag. So, this jump not 0 loop is undefined. Suppose if the Z flag is 0, that means jump not 0, when 0 flag is non 0 only, then only it will move to this instruction. That means here Z flag is 0, that means it will evaluate this instruction, compare C, that means A minus C. So, correspondingly it will affect the sign flag. The next instruction is decrement B. So, B is decremented by 1 then it will go to the halt instruction. So, here there is no multiplication B into C. Suppose if I assume Z flag is 1. So, after this instruction if I assume Z flag is 1, what will happen? It directly jump to this instruction. So, decrement by B that means B is decremented by 1, then after that halt instruction is executed. So, this option A is wrong option. Coming to option B, this first instruction will load content of the accumulator by 0, 0. Compare C, that means it will perform A minus C, correspondingly the sign flag will be affected. After that, this instruction decrement B, that means B is decremented by 1. After that, it will check the, uh, this instruction will affect all the flags. So, it will check for 0 flags, jump not 0 loop. So, here if the contents of B is non-zero, then it will go to this instruction. So, this loop will be repeated until B equals to 0, then halt instruction is executed. Here also we can see that there is no multiplication operation. Coming to option C, the first instruction load the content of accumulator by 0, 0, H. After that, content of accumulator is loaded with contents of C. So, addition operation is performed between contents of accumulator and contents of C. The resultant is stored in A. That means, content of accumulator is nothing but C. Now, a decrement operation performed on B. So, B equals to B minus 1. Then it will check for 0 flag. So, if B is non-zero, it will go to this loop and perform this addition operation. So, that means here the, this loop will be repeated until B equals to 0. That means C is added B times. That means here we are performing multiplication of C into B, the result will be available on accumulator. So, once the B is, is 0, then halt instruction is executed, then the program is terminated. So, option C is right option. So, let us verify option D also. So, in option D, the first instruction load the accumulator contents with 00 zero H. Here, add C, that means contents of accumulator is added with contents of C. Then it will check for uh, 0 flag. So, if the content of accumulator is non-zero, then it will go to this increment operation. That means, here B is incremented by 1. After that, it will go to halt instruction. That means, this program will simply increment B value by 1. That means, there is no multiplication operation. So, option C is right option.